Well, I knew when I started medical school that I liked surgical specialties, that hands-on was really appealing to me. Pediatric urology offered a lot more challenges for reconstruction and the idea that in kids those had to be durable results that needed to last a lifetime. I'm John Gaddy. I'm the chief of the section of urology at Children's Mercy. Pediatric urology can be pretty challenging in that the average age of children that we operate on or are seen in our clinic for surgical problems is usually around six months of age or so. So, you know, we're dealing with infants who aren't able to communicate. We become aware of from just the anatomy standpoint, so it doesn't take a child telling you, you know, what's, what's wrong to know what you know, the problem might be. Urologists in general deal with anything from the kidneys, you know, down to the bladder. So anything that you think of as the urinary tract, but also the genitalia and malformations there. That can include tumors, but the most common thing that we deal with is just malformations where things just haven't developed normally. We tend to overlap quite a bit with female genital reconstruction and those type of operations. When you think of typical things such as a circumcision or something like that, we do that, but we also do hernias and also uh, abnormal development of the urethra. Hypospadias is a really common diagnosis and that's a, one of the more common operations we do. You know, the idea is can we do this through a smaller incision so the recovery is faster, so maybe the intestines recover quicker so kids can eat sooner uh, so that there's less pain involved. Uh, kids can go home and, and you know, sleep in their own bed that night rather than stay in the hospital for a day or several days. And I think just being able to address an issue and, and give the parents a sense that yes, we've seen this before and with some personal experience, this is how this tends to go and give them realistic expectations. I think that helps a lot.